Tom Diggs here, still descending Red Hill. And I want to talk about another option of a minimum viable product or a micro business that may be worth your consideration. Nowadays, almost everyone has a podcast. Uh, people typically think that it's simple as getting a USB headset, uh, the free the Audacity, which is a free uh, audio editing software, and you know, just a logo and you know, uploading it to iTunes and Stitcher, and there you go, you're a podcaster. And you know, if a person just, I guess, want to have a uh, just another, I guess, so-so mediocre podcast like everyone else, yeah, you can do it that way. However, the key is, if you really invest in the quality of a podcast, if you think of uh, audio programs like NPR, On Being, Radio Lab, those type of programs, like they are very well done. And while they may uh, reoccur on more of a frequent basis, as a minimum viable product, you could just test it out and do it once a month. You know, or twice a month, or you can do a seasonal format, and you can put it out there to gauge and see if there's interest. And if there is interest, if people do like it, if you if uh, if the idea is validated, then you can consider to increase the frequency. But it's no point going out there putting a podcast, trying to record an uh, episode every single week just to learn that most people do not find your topic interesting um it's sad because uh, many people uh you know when they see these uh success stories of this one podcast are making a lot of money off of it they think they can duplicate that process without knowing all of the details involved so I just want you to keep that in mind. Don't worry so much about frequency. Worry more about the quality. Okay? Uh, I probably could have had greater success with mine uh, if I probably would have uh, done some things differently. You know, my uh, my show has, uh, has success in its own right. Uh, it was very privileged to interview a lot of people, a lot of prolific people. Uh, from Robert Kiyosaki to J.J. Ramberg, who was the MSNBC host, to, um, you know, former MLB players, former NBA players, former NFL players, you know, uh, ha uh, Hall of Fame boxers. But I just want you to keep that in mind. You know, nowadays, the minimum viable product is the way to go. It's my intention for you to reach the finish line. And you can start by going to reachingthefinishline.com. And until next time, I hope you're reaching your finish line.